I was so glad to finally be able to attend a major event in person after the COVID shutdown. ACT Expo in Los Angeles was a total success. For this episode, I had a chance to walk around the expo and have quick conversations on camera with a representative of Nikola, founder of Danar and director of technology assessment at Karma Automotive. Let's get right into it. ACT stands for Advanced Clean Transportation. The ACT Expo, or ACT Expo as some people call it, is mostly focused on fleets and heavy-duty vehicles which are transitioning to a cleaner future. Just a couple of years ago, they were mostly focused on natural gas and hydrogen, but as you may already know, a lot of people are calling 2021 the year of EVs. No exceptions here. Electric vehicles, battery technology and charging systems were the main discussion topics. A lot of attendees and test drives. I truly enjoyed those couple of days. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel. So, uh, just walking through our Nikola Trey Bev vehicle. Uh, this is uh, our vehicle that we are going to launch uh, end of this year. And just to give you a few uh, sort of highlights around the vehicle, it is uh, up, up has up to 350 mile range, which is which is awesome. A 645 horsepower vehicle uh, has 753 watts of battery uh, on board. You'll see you have uh, nine battery packs here, each of them independent for uh, for modularity as well as redundancy. So we've created a, a modular system that's easily uh, replaceable. And if one battery goes out, the redundancy is there so that we can you can operate the vehicle um, if uh, if a battery goes down. The tray bed uh, we developed in partnership with Iveco, and it uh, was on a really expedited uh, development plan. And the reason we could do that because uh, Nikola developed all of the the uh, architecture, the battery electric architecture and the propulsion system. And we, we use components, validated components from Iveco, such as their suspension system, their uh, cab, the chassis. And uh, so together we were able to expedite development and get this truck ready in a very, very quick time, time frame. And again, we're gonna launch this vehicle by the end of this year, have it on the road. Uh, so we're moving towards that. As you can see, it is a cab over design which is a design that was very uh, popular in, in Europe, used to be popular here in the US, but because of the, what was the doghouse in the past, that created a lot of discomfort for the driver, uh, this, uh, this cab over kind of went out of style. But we've removed that obstacle from this vehicle. The engine and the motor is in, in the back. Uh, it's a smooth ride, it's comfortable, easy for drivers to get around inside there. Uh, totally different experience than in the past, and so we think it's going to get a lot of a lot of folks excited about uh, being able to drive this vehicle. So. Hi, I'm Gary Danner. We're here at ACT uh, with our mobile power station. This is a project that started a little over 10 years ago with concept vehicle, the all-electric, zero-emission, four-wheel drive, off-road work vehicle. And the whole purpose of it is to be able to work every day using anybody's attachments, whether those are Caterpillar or Deer, but over 200 different work attachments. So you can put attachments on either end, put a cab, you can run this wirelessly with hand controls, or you can run it autonomously. But because it has so much electricity stored, it's able to charge up cars and vehicles. So we can charge up four different vehicles at the same time. Uh, we can charge up other infrastructure buildings, and we can recharge this vehicle from 483 phase or from fast chargers as well. I'm Jeff DeFrank, um, working here with Karma Automotive and we have our new Powered by Karma initiative, which is our business to business initiative that's bringing to the market things like this commercial vehicle here in the background. So this van here 
we developed the powertrain system that's completely electric that will allow it to travel, you know, essentially what the market is looking for is about 150 miles of range and that's what we're going to be delivering in that area. And we're going to have options for that. It's a modular system so we can go downrange, uprange. It'll fit into a range of vehicles because of this. So from class three all the way up to class six. You know, if you can think of any of the Ford vehicles, the Chevy vehicles, many of the other vehicles in this space, we're designing it so that by changing a few brackets, we can bolt it into another vehicle. As a former Nissan employee, I had a chance to observe the passenger car industry electrification. The process took roughly 10 years and now it's time for the heavy duty vehicles to learn and adopt some best practices. Electric school buses, pickup trucks, delivery vans, forklifts, all of that will be electrified and I am hoping we won't need to wait another 10 years for this to happen. ACT Expo definitely increased my confidence. Did you like the episode? Hit the like button and see you next week.